This is a concise video review of a controller for measuring the capacity of high-pressure fuel pumps HPFP, of the common rail system. The controller has two channels for measuring liquid passage. In each measuring channel, there is a temperature sensor measuring the temperature of the target flow. In addition to the device itself, the controller delivery set includes power cable, USB cable, two fuel cleaning filters, four nozzles for connecting fuel supply to the device and for the leak off, hoses. The set also includes a user manual and CD with software. The front panel of the controller houses the following elements. The controller on-off button and fuel inlet nozzles for measurement. Nozzle in 1 for HPFP connection and supply measurement. Nozzle in 2 for HPFP connection and leak-off measurement. On the back panel of the controller, there are nozzles in 1 in 2 for discharging measuring liquid into the tank. A USB connector for communication with PC, cooling fan and connector for the power supply cable. A controller model is also available with hardware components and LCD screen for display of liquid flow measurement results. In all other respects, the model is identical to the device FMDE without a display. Let's consider controller operation in a stand. As an example, we'll use the stand SPF1108, manufactured by the company Diesel Test. The controller can be located in front of the stand or behind it. In the present case, it is located in the front of the stand for convenience of demonstration. Install and connect the controller hoses in the following order. From the discharge nozzle of the regulator on the rail to the nozzle in 1 for supply measurement and from the leak-off nozzle on the pump to the nozzle in 2 for leak-off measurement. Turn on the controller and establish communication with PC through the USB interface. Connection of the controller is displayed in the software. The controller is now ready for operation. The FMDE controller can be used together with the PTC2520 series controller from the company Diesel Test or with the common rail pump control system from other manufacturers. Run the Diesel Test program. The program interface is displayed on the monitor screen. A detailed overview of the software is provided in a separate section of the stand user manual. On the tab page, CP Tester, both static and interactive information blocks are displayed. In order to carry out testing of the high-pressure fuel pump, press the button Open Test Plan. A pop-up window opens in the program window for choosing the appropriate pump. Enter the pump number in the search filter. The program retrieves the search result from the database. Choose the pump of interest. Sequential steps of the test plan are displayed in the window. By switching between the test plan steps, you can see the parameters corresponding to the step in question, such as pump RPM, which are displayed in the program field Stand. General information regarding the pump, its direction of rotation and number. Information on current test plan with indication of the number of steps. Priming pressure generated in the step in question. Current and duty ratio. Pressure value in the rail. Switch on the priming pump and generate the pressure required. Choose the automatic mode of test plan steps implementation. Activate the test plan by pressing the button Start Test. After the start of the test, real flow values measured by the FMD controller, Flow 1 and Flow 2, are displayed in the display block for liquid flow measurements. Flow 1 represents supply from the high-pressure fuel pump and Flow 2 represents leak-off. Static information on the range of permissible liquid flow values is also displayed. In the flow meter tab page, graphical representation of the flows in the channels can be observed. After completion of the test plan, the program outputs measurement results that can be displayed on the screen, printed out and saved in PDF format. More detailed information on the FMDE unit is always available from us or from our dealers. 
visit www.dieseltest.com.